the Typhoon Defense F12 12 gauge AR style shotgun. This thing's pretty cool. the Typhoon Defense F12. This is a 12 gauge AR style shotgun. And this right here is the Black River Manufacturing 20 round drum. Has a really good Cerakote job. Looks cool, it's kind of like a mix of bronzes, grays, blacks, and they did it really well. So let's talk about overall impressions real quick. When I first opened this thing up out of the box, you'll notice that there is a lot of stuff inside the box. I'm gonna do a whole separate video just on unboxing the Typhoon. The receiver set is absolutely beautiful. Um, everything on this gun is metal. Your handguard, it's a very slim line handguard. It has a very solid feel to it. I've handled lots of AR style shotguns. There's something about the heft and the weight and the balance of this 12 gauge shotgun that feels really nice. So it does come with two flip up sights on the front and on the back and they seem to be holding up pretty well. That being said, throughout all the shooting and transportation of this, I did lose a pin right here on this flip up sight. It still seems to perform just fine, just for some reason that pin is gone. So I gotta find a replacement. You do have really nice controls on this as well. So let's look at these. So right here on the lower receiver, you have your safety selector. This is an ambidextrous safety selector very audible click really comfortable feel the ambidextrous aspect of it is nice i like that a lot on this side of the receiver you have your bolt controls you have your bolt catch side over here and then release right over here the magwell you can see it's a big flared and skeletonized magwell you have two little groove cuts right over here i'm not sure if that purpose is just to grip the shotgun with the magazine very comfortable grip that way otherwise just Weight reduction and looks, I'm guessing. This kind of comes down to preference, but I love flat triggers. Something about the flat triggers gives you an option where you want to put your finger, you're not stuck to sitting in a curve. That being said, the F12 does have a pretty, pretty heavy shotgun trigger. I want to say it pulls somewhere around nine, 10 pounds. I don't have my trigger weight gauge on me, so I can't give this thing an actual pull test, but it's a really stiff and stout trigger. Let me see if I can show you guys. Oh yeah. Big old heavy trigger pull, reset. Long, very audible, forceful reset. And again, another long trigger pull. I have noticed over time that trigger pull does seem to be lightening up a little bit. All right, let's talk about performance. 20 round drum by Black River. So this shotgun does come with a break-in period. Now I know there's a lot of people that don't like the concept of a break-in period. Now I know break-in periods can be kind of a hot topic. A lot of people don't like the concept of having to break in a gun from factory. Personally, I'm okay with a break-in period as long as it's not some extensive break-in period. It's kind of like a car. You're not supposed to hammer on it right when you get it from factory. There is a certain break-in. A lot of people, they like to take this thing and run some stout rounds or run a good one, 200 stout rounds through it. And that kind of loosens things up a little bit. That's pretty much what happened with this guy. When I first took it out to the range, I had my friend Robert shoot it. And I believe it had one or two malfunctions. Now that was the first 10 rounds to the shotgun. Predictably, I was using light loads as well. I use those loads for trap and skeet shooting. I believe they're number seven and a half shot, um, 1200 feet per second, one ounce loads or one and one eighth ounce loads, something like that. So I have a few hundred of those. So we ran a lot of that through the shotgun. Click. There you go. 
This is the Black River Manufacturing 20 round drum. I just have birdshot in here. This is the Typhoon F12. It's got some heft to it. All right. Let's do a quick 20 round mag dump. Hopefully it feeds. That being said, the first day of taking this out, we put about 100 rounds, a little over 100 rounds through it. Towards the end of that first day, running the 100 rounds or so through it, I noticed this was starting to run a lot smoother. Um, it's starting to cycle more. I took it out another day and put another 150 rounds through it. Again, most of it was that bird shot, but then I also started to introduce some buckshot and then even some slugs, which this thing handles the heavier loads really well. So yes, it does seem like the heavier the load, the better it performs predictably. Towards the end, this thing was eating everything. Like I said, I ran that really light bird shot. I ran some heavy slugs, double up buck, Black River magazines held up pretty well too. The Black River drum still needs some break. In my opinion, a shotgun magazine, much like the shotgun itself, requires breaking as well. I don't know if that's because spring tension is so high, but shotgun magazines are stout. I mean, they're really, there's a, a lot of spring tension on those things. So the more you load them up, just keep them loaded, exercise that spring, just kind of loosen them up and um, break them in. It's, just kind of what you got to do. Again, just like the shotgun, the more I used that Black River magazine, the more I used the stock magazines that the shotgun came with, the better they started performing. I don't know if that's a shotgun breaking in or are those the magazines breaking in. This is five rounds of double op buck. So what's cool about the shotgun is it uses a gas piston recoil system. So there's a gas piston inside the shotgun kind of wrapping around that barrel. And then there's a big old spring right inside the handguard. So it's a reversible piston. You can reverse it for different types of loads. I haven't. It's still in factory heavier load configuration right now. I heard this thing can be kind of a pain in the butt to take apart. I haven't tried yet. It's up on the receiver. You can see where the handguard mates the receiver right here. It's kind of carved out. It helps index that handguard a lot. So when you put the handguard back on, it'll just snap in place. You don't have to worry about it being slightly tilted from the receiver. So you have that monolithic look on the shotgun. While we're at it, let's talk about that 20 round drum and see how it works. Now when I got the Typhoon shotgun, it came with three of these guys right here. These are five round shotgun magazines or five round 12 gauge magazines. I also have these guys right here, which are awesome. I freaking love these things. This is a 10 round 12 gauge magazine made by Black River. It has a cool little plastic grippy thing over here. Um, but yeah, these perform really well. Now right over here, right here you have this massive 20 round shotgun magazine. Now this thing's pretty cool. This is a drum magazine. So what you do is when you load it, get your 12 gauge rounds right here. As you load your rounds, you can assist that just by twisting it and loading your rounds in. Those rounds will start riding all around this circle right about here. So you get 20 rounds of 12 gauge, which is pretty awesome. The more I use it, the better this drum runs. In the beginning, it was a little rough. It was stiff and it was jamming up a whole lot, but I'm able to pretty much go through an entire drum now and there's little to no issues. Sometimes I'll have a jam towards the uh, 18th, 19th round. It kind of stove pipes that shell. These are pretty badass. I love that drum and I really, really love these 10 round mags right here from Black River. This grip right here, I don't necessarily think I would like this on an AR. However, on a shotgun, 
this thing is amazingly comfortable. You can see how it's all swollen. It's got like a tacky rubberness on it and it just grabs your hands really well. So very comfortable. It just molds right to your fingers. Um, it gives you a real full handful of shotgun. What's the point of it? What is this thing good for? Like what's the intention of this? And um, if I'd say, do you want to use it in home defense? Possibly. Reliability has certainly gotten better after its, after its break-in period. It's been very reliable. Um, and I can imagine 10, 20 rounds of 12 gauge is a fantastic home defense choice. It's, it's big, it's kind of bulky, so I'm not gonna say it's for any kind of a tactical use or whatever, but I will say this would really excel in competition. You do have the longer barrel and you do have a bunch of different chokes that you could put in to engage different types of targets between clays, um, silhouettes, you know, with buckshot, stuff like that. So I think where this excels is going to be in the competition market, whether it's for three gun, um, just tactical shotgun competitions in general. Like I said, after that break in period, this thing's been running fantastic. So time will tell to see how well this thing runs in the future, but it seems to be going strong. I don't see any kind of wear marks, anything like that, that indicates it failing, except for the one pin that went loose and missing on the uh, flip up rear sight but they're just polymer rear sights. I think between the construction quality of the shotgun, the performance, and just a really low recoil system, it's a pretty cool gun. Thank you all so much. Hope you all like this video.